Hello, this is Neil from MyPaintGirls.com and this tutorial is about uh, drawing beautiful men. So here's three different guys that you know people find very attractive. Uh, give you a chance to guess who they are. So this is Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, and uh, Bill Collitz. I'm not sure how his name is pronounced. I think it's German, the last name, I don't know. Anyway, so what you'll notice is that um, Brad and Johnny Depp have very similar jaw lines although Brad has a slightly more stronger jawline. So to get the more masculine look, um, the main features to get rid of then is the upper, the, the large upper lip. You want to give him a small upper lip. Not so big of a bottom lip either. That gives more of that cute boy look. And then give him a stronger chin and jaw and uh, that would change him to more of like the typical Superman looking kind of good looking guy. And then uh, Bill over here, he has the most feminine looking face. And uh, these are just straight draw all overs their photos so I, I knew I'd capture them exactly I'm just this is without all you know with the photographic detail but um, so they look all different as cartoons but it's it's exact representations of them anyway so the um, the face here you notice that his face really comes inward so his jaw doesn't come straight down uh, Johnny Depp's even slants in a little bit Brad Pitt's pretty much comes straight down which is a typical comic kind of guy and Bill's really comes in a lot here and more of an elfin uh, features. So you can actually add that to pretty much any guy you're drawing and that will give them that more feminine look. So if you're wondering, well how do I give my guys different looks? There's tons of things you can do with the eyes, you know, notice how different the eyes are. But with also the... I'm going to go ahead and erase that one. I want to copy it. Then I want to sort of erase, not all the way, because I want to be able to still kind of see that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle in the face here so his jawline now is going to angle more and more effeminate. We'll give him more of the uh, elfin look like Bill. And then we're going to bring him down, oops, bring his chin down, or his jaw down to a thinner chin as well. So this is more elfin features, which also have to give him a thinner neck. Notice that Bill actually has a pretty thin neck for a guy. Bill actually looks a lot like a girl. Like I even saw him kind of dressed up like a girl and his, and his face painted more like a girl. It's like, wow, he can really pass for a chick. If uh, you know he started taking the steroids and stuff, or whatever, the hormones, not steroids. Right, so now already we can see, watch the difference here. I'm going to bring this Brad Pitt down. So already we can see this one here looks more effeminate because we have more of the Bill jawline and he's already changing some. Also we can change their nose style to look more effeminate as well. Um, so this is what I'm working on now. Let's go ahead and grab his nose here. I'm going to go to uh, transform. You could just redraw it too but I'm just going to distort it because it'll be easier. Just kind of bring it in and make it a little bit smaller. So now he has more of an elfin nose. Brad Pitt has those kind of dopey, sleepy eyes. No, you know, having the bigger lips will actually make Brad Pitt look more effeminate anyway. So we'll keep those lips on him. Of course, you can always give him different kinds of lips to get a different character. And if you're trying to build a good-looking guy, you can take assets for different-looking guys, and you can't get in trouble for that. You can even try giving him more of this like comic look, where he has this kind of chin here, just to add something different. And this isn't so typical of better-looking guys, I don't think, in comic books, but um, you do see some guys, you know, just to add character, they actually draw the chin up like that into the character, and they might draw a few defining lines for the bottom of like that. Anyway, so uh, typically they'll give them a longer chin too out here when they do that, and you know, it might look like something like that. But anyway, it's good to add character, but I don't think it really makes your character look better looking, like a pretty boy. You know, if you're looking for a beautiful guy. That's not the way to draw a beautiful guy. Also, you notice that Bill has really big eyebrows. Brad Pitt really doesn't. So let's go ahead and give this particular more effeminate looking Brad bigger eyebrows. And we can even make it look more like Bill's if we wanted to, more angled, but I'm not going to do that. Of course, you can give him long hair. And one other thing is slightly bigger cheekbones, so we can do that now real quick. I'll just kind of erase this, erase this, and I'll kind of bring his cheekbones out 
just a little bit more like so. So now we have a more effeminate looking Brad Pitt down here. So we'll go back to this Brad Pitt now, the original. And what if I wanted to make a more, you know, Superman like? We can do that. We can give him a bigger chin. We can kind of even, you know, bring the chin up into. And uh, you can really make it block if you wanted to. Like that. You can give him that kind of chin. Typically, though, when you um, give a comic character or any, any kind of character a bigger chin, uh, one thing you're probably going to do is probably lift the lips up just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of his upper lip altogether. And if I keep any of his upper lip, it'll just be hinted at. Give him a nice solid line, though, for that part of his lip. Kind of that down. Maybe you can add you know, a little bit of detail there if you wanted to. But uh, if you again, if you want to add just a little bit of upper lip, you can. And let's see here. So I'm going to bring the chin down a little bit farther now. And kind of add this kind of blockiness to it. You can you know, add some of these little muscles right here if you wanted to. And you can even extend the chin up like they're going to go to those muscles. And then I'm going to bring this down here. Something like that. And if you want, you can make the chin even larger than that. Go ahead and delete all that by just backstepping here. Of course, this is really exaggerated, like just gigantic chin. But, you know, sometimes it's good to define a character that way in a, in a comic book. You can give him this just gigantic chin like that. And he'll still look pretty good looking. But I probably wouldn't go too overboard with it. We'll just exaggerate a little bit. You can also give him a butt chin. I'm going to drag that up a little bit into there. I'm going to kind of add, just see what it looks like if I were to add some face detail like that. So makes them look a little bit older. You can add maybe just a little bit there. You can kind of see some of the cheekbone. And notice how how much it ages them, just those few little lines. So I'm going to erase that one now. Maybe just give them a little bit of the cheekbone. All right, but you know, and now it's starting to look more like uh, how Brad Pitt looks now. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see there, there's all kinds of stuff you can do to to change faces and make them look more masculine or more feminine. And it really has to do with the jawline and the lips. So adding bigger powdier lips and a smaller, more elfin jawline will make them look more feminine, uh, making the lips more thin and give them bigger jaw and, and chin. You know, by chin is here, jaw is the width here. So width there is jaw, width here is chin. And you can mess around with those different ratios. Like you can give them a pretty thin chin and then pretty thin jaw but not quite like Bill and you got more of a Johnny Depp kind of look. And also I made Johnny Depp's nose look a lot smaller so this actually isn't true to him. His nose is actually bigger. Um, it, it comes out more like here and so I just I reduce his nose size because he looks better like that with the art. Typically when you when you convert people to just line art you want to make their nose smaller. Right so what if we um, we want to take him we can take Johnny Depp and we can kind of turn him into a more typical kind of comic-y pretty boy guy. So one thing is they kind of have longer noses usually and they're quite thin so just going to kind of give him this thin nose here like that and maybe just a little bit of that part of the nose you can see it maybe part of the line Add a few lines there, add a little dimple there maybe. Kind of bring in the nose here and here where those little lines are, like so. Um, we could even give him a little bit of, you know, some detail here if you wanted to. You know, like if I say he's kind of mad, but I'm not going to do that. But I kind of like that, just a little bit of detail there maybe, just to show some of his muscles at, you know, these muscles here. And, uh, go ahead and erase his 
flips all together. And let's say we're gonna kinda not where he's mad, but I'm gonna kinda bring his lips up a little bit more too, because I'm gonna get rid of his top lip. Make him a little bit mad. Like so. So yeah, that looks more like, you know, comic book character. Maybe just uh, bring out some of his cheekbones here. Depends how big of a cheekbones you want him to have. We can give him wider cheekbones. Make the way out here. Like so. And then um, we could even give him the you know, the chin that kind of comes up into his face. Just see what that looks like. You know, say you're trying to do a certain kind of character. And so you can work that in and just see what it looks like. And you can make his chin a little bit longer if you wanted to. So it's just messing around with this kind of stuff. And you can get different looks. So I'm going to really bring this down and kind of add more of that kind of butt chin there. The butt chin has that little dent in it. So that looks like he's got a huge chin, man. All right, so I'm gonna go back to here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to that layer and erase all that because I didn't mean to draw it that layer. All right. Um, something more like that. So it adds a little bit of age to him, but not much by drawing those lines up into the figure, and you can like reduce them even more and he'll look younger. Yeah, you can even take this and uh, maybe bring it down just a bit. You know, and add a little bit of length there, like that. Maybe just slightly bring that up a little bit, add a different look. So there you go. That's more of a big chin, but smaller jaw. This is big chin, big jaw. You know, small jaw, small chin, and so forth. So you get different looks like that by changing that, changing the lips and you'll get different characters by the kind of lips and stuff you give your characters. Be careful though in comic books whether or not to give a guy an upper lip. Uh, it really can define them though. Just keep in mind when you draw them smaller, you probably won't want to draw that upper lip in there so much because it might look too girly. But anyway, yeah. I really don't know what else to comment on. Um, you know, Obviously adding the different muscles and stuff into characters will define those characters more. That is if you, you know, add some of these kinds of lines you can really define the character that's you know like his cheekbones and stuff you can add you know maybe these little lines here um, make them look older you can define them this way you know that'll make them look a lot older little lines like that in, in, in drawings really go a long way like just tiny little lines can really make your characters look a lot older so you know be careful that if you're trying to make them look young you don't add too many lines to them you can add some facial hair. So let's say he just has like a little hair here. We'll do a comp more comic book style. Actually, we'll give him a, we'll give him a small goatee, a thin one rather, like this, and it kind of comes up like that. And uh, I can kind of color some of this in. Ta-da! I'm just being quick here, not you know making too much detail. And a more uh, buff or burly guy, you know, you can give him like some big old sideburns. Maybe not like as big as Wolverine or anything, but you know, just doing little things like this is a good way to add, you know, character to your characters, change them up. You can even give them, you know, some type of mustache. I guess it depends what kind of mustache you want to give him here. <laughs> Something like that. And that adds a different kind of character. You can give him a thinner mustache. Or no mustache. You can just give him the hair down here. Or you can just give him a goatee and not that hair there. Um, you know, it's all different kinds of things you can do with guys to really add. So give him more of like a thinner mustache like this. And, you know, just doing little things like that is a real easy way to add character so you know think about facial hair and everything and how their hair will look because that can really make characters look different right so just a quick overview then is to um, 
have different kind of looking guys to, to, for the more feminine looking guy you make the width of the chin here or of the jaw so excuse me thinner so it's a little bit thinner than the face you make the chin really thin so it comes down to like an elfin point and this right and this right here will not el elephant elfin <laughs> point and this will give you the kind of uh, more feminine looking like uh, Bill Collitz whatever his name is and then original Brad Pitt uh, he's not here anymore but you can you know add variety in between of big jaw big chin and you can you can mix them up big chin but smaller jaw and get different variety of good-looking guys or beautiful guys and, all right so I feel like I'm rambling now hopefully this helps <laughs>